regression, and this one looks like it's one of the sum uh, angle summer difference formulas, right? Because we're taking a co cosine cosine minus a sine sine, or sine cosine with a cosine sine, and so we're going to have to recall those formulas. So these are from the sheet that was handed out in our in my classes uh, that you'll have to memorize by the time we get to the exam, but that you for now you can use this reference. And so I'm going to write a little bit over here in red so that we can remind ourselves of what the formulas are. The cosine of a plus or a minus is equal to a couscous minus plus sin sin. And the sine of a plus or a minus is equal to a sine cosine plus minus cosine sine. So that's personally the way that I keep track of them uh, as a mnemonic or as a little thing that I can kind of keep on my uh, bathroom mirror so I look at it every time I'm brushing my teeth. But in this problem, we have a couscous minus a sin sin. So couscous minus sin sin means we're doing the top formula, and that means the answer is going to be a cosine. The fact that it's a minus here and the minus plus, which is with the plus minus, means we're going to put a plus sign in the middle. And then the two angles are the two numbers that we see floating around. So it's 29 degrees plus 16 degrees. 29 plus 16 is, of course, 45. So this question is really just asking for the cosine of 45 degrees, which we know from our unit circle to be radical 2 over 2. So the final answer to this problem is radical 2 over 2. OK, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. Try doing the sine of 4 pi over 7 cosine of 5 pi over 28 plus cosine 4 pi over 7 sine of 5 pi over 28. So recalling those formulas, this one's a sin cos plus a cos sin. So this one is going to end up being a sine. It's being added, and for the sine formula, the adds stayed consistent. So you're going to put a plus there. And then the two angles we have are, of course, 4 pi over 7 and 5 pi over 28. OK, so to be able to do this, looks like we're going to need some common denominator in going on here. So let's throw in a 4 and throw in a 4. So that way we can get the sine of 16 pi over 7 plus 5 pi over, whoops, 16 pi over 28, right? 7 times 4 is 28. 5 pi over 28. So in other words, we have the sine of 21 pi over 28. And that means we have the sine of 3 pi over 4. Yay! And that's another unit circle type value. So that's up in quadrant number 2. So it's above the axis there. So it's going to have a sine value of radical 2 over 2. That's a coincidence. It's the same as the last one.